I spent hundreds of hours building a mega base save for you, and today I finally have the opportunity to put it to use. I'll be sharing my first attempt at compounding alt recipes, but before we get to that, you should know that this mega base series is focused on organic, ad hoc, and production building styles culminated into modular themes. Now, as promised, today I am feeding the alternate recipes for iron and copper into other alternate recipes. Let's experiment! I've been looking forward to this day for a long time, and if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll also share a short list of the most bang for your buck recipes I have discovered so far. After that, it will be followed by a serious discussion on this channel's mission, so be sure to stick around to hear about that. Iron and Copper Alt Recipes with the Refineries are one of the first alt recipes that caught my attention. When I was first grinding through the tiers, I knew I wanted to yield as much of the basic materials as I could from a single node in the end, based on the current belt throughput capacity available. Currently, that's Mark 5 belts at 780 items per minute. If you are newer to Satisfactory or haven't really spent much time on alternate recipes, they can be researched in the MAM with hard drives you recover from drop pods around the map. Once unlocked, some of the alternate recipes are better than others. Today, we are going to use the alternate recipes listed on screen now, which are iron wire, cast screws, and stitched iron plates. That may not sound like a lot, but we are going to be building a decent amount of it in the end. I'll be using the claw to feed these recipes, and I figure the best way to get started dispersing the resources from that monster is by feeding it directly into more alt recipes. Starting with Iron Wire, this is the basic module I have come up with. I'll combine multiple units of this together, sticking with the general rules of this mega base playlist or playthrough. Iron Wire is a no-brainer for my playthrough. I'm happy to feed the claw into this. It lets you use iron to make wire and cable, which replaces a rarer resource in my opinion copper with a more common one, and simplifies logistics to factories that use these components often letting you remove copper from the supply chain to those factories completely. I get this one early and use it throughout the game. This will also keep the copper produced at the claw more available for cooler uses later. I'll be sure to show you what this area looks like when it's all done. Today is all about the experiments and setting up the best alts from tiers 0 through 2. At least the ones that I'll be setting up. Moving on to cast screws, yes, we hear all about how terrible screws are, and many players do indeed remove them from their production chains as much as they can. However, I'm getting some going now because this is my favorite alternate recipe for screws, and when I need them I have a layout for reference. It's easier to get them going earlier in the game, or earlier in my mega base playthrough, so I encourage using it, especially if it is your only other option versus the default recipe. Steel screws are faster, so I'll be sure to use those if I ever end up in a situation where I need an absolutely massive amount. But that's for tier 3, and will be covered in the next alt to alt video. I have been working towards these experiments for a long time, and it is very exciting to start this series. Before we move on to the stitched iron plates, I'd like to take a moment for those who haven't watched enough or any of my videos before to know what my satisfactory videos are all about. This particular playthrough and accompanying series of videos is focused on an anti-spreadsheet, organic, ad hoc approach. I am building this map with casual hours input on a weekly basis over time, and the previous videos go over the methods and reasoning in more detail, so be sure to check those out if you haven't already seen them. Moving on to stitched iron plates, here is my basic setup for the stitched iron plates alternate recipe. Besides removing screws from the production chain, it will pair nicely with the iron wire alternate recipe, and I have more iron available at the moment than copper. Well, 20,000 iron per minute versus 12,000 copper per minute, but I still try to follow the rules of thumb established in the previous videos. Stitched iron plates will complete the main alternate recipes I am interested in from tiers 0 through 2 for now, and I hope that you enjoyed my first draft modules for each of these. I tried to leave plenty of space around them, so they probably look a bit awkwardly placed at the moment. I'll expand them later. Alright, delivering on my promises. As promised at the beginning of the video, thank you for sticking around, and here is a condensed list of my favorite alternate recipes. I'll be doing a video on each grouping. Some of them may change as I'm experimenting and preparing each, but these recipes are for sure winners. If I don't use them in an upcoming video for whatever reason, don't worry, I still recommend them, and many players and other creators do too. 
Okay, I have something serious to discuss now, but before we get into that, I invite you to boop that like button if you enjoyed today's video or found it helpful. Booping the like button is the best way that you can let me know that I am making the content you really want, as I am a small channel and can use all of the feedback that I can get. So now, getting into the more serious portion of the video. Recently, I was asked if I start a new save with each playthrough. If you have watched my previous videos, I have already answered this and provided my reasoning as to why. So, I don't want to repeat myself too much, I'll do it one more time because other content creators heavily encourage new saves and clean slates. And there should be no confusion on my stance if you call it that. I'm not saying there is a clear, correct, or incorrect choice. Rather, it is a preference. A preference that I have developed playing many titles like Satisfactory. I'd like to show you a recent clip of Coffee Stains, Snut, and Jace discussing how they are designing Satisfactory to be played. That really drives the point I'm about to make home. The video link will be in the description below. Let's take a look. Have you thought about making space elevator goals be more difficult or require certain power? Look, more difficult? Have you seen the, like the, the second to last and the last like requirements? They're they're pretty steep. Yeah. Like, <laughs> not gonna lie. Yeah. Um, like a, a lot of, a lot of the folks a lot of the folks here are more like diehard fans, and y'all have like pushed the game really yeah. far, you know. And you know, it. I think it's good to like try and like cater to you guys, but we have to remember that like most people don't push it as far as you guys do, and so. You're the one percent, yeah. So you know we need to find ways to give you some stuff, but at the same time, it's like if you put in uh, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of hours to mm. finish the game, you, like you, you cut, like you you couldn't say that that was too easy, right? Right. With that cool? being said, though, we're gonna add like five other space elevators that are like ten times more <laughs> items, parts. Just make a hard mode, but that's see, that's the interesting thing is like even if we made a hard mode where you did the exact same things but had to make more stuff, it's just moving. It's the same game, but the goalposts yeah. have moved, right? So like I don't know, it's not it's not really a good solution. It doesn't necessarily make anyway. the game harder. And it's, not, it's just like yeah, more time. Yeah, exactly. Some players start fresh for a variety of good reasons, but when it comes to my playthroughs. I have limited, casual time to input, and I don't like wipes, even once a year if I can avoid it. So, I also understand this is a natural part of the game development as they update and push new features or redo terrain. I want to be clear, 90% or the overwhelming majority of people are putting out selfish content that are more like press releases as opposed to valuable content for the audience here on YouTube. I am very in tune to this as a regular consumer. They want you to think that they are cool. They want you to think whatever their angle is about them. They wanted to make a living gaming and do these crazy gaming videos or do an athletic video of them running somewhere exotic, what have you. So that's the content that you're getting, but does that bring you any value? A lot of the content I see right now involves people acting like PR agents, and this is where we see a lot of creator burnout. I've touched on this before, but for the record, I'm putting out educational entertainment content with this channel for the themes outlined on the channel's about page, so go check that out if you'd like to find out more about what TFI covers. I hope you trust and believe I know this all too well from games like Ark Survival Evolved, Imperion, Space Engineers, Star Citizen, Dyson Sphere, it goes on. Something else I want to be clear on is that there is no truly correct way to play Satisfactory. Start fresh, be you, and your best idea of effectiveness. I say this in basically every video. For me, I know that there are many players who dread updates breaking their save files that they put time and patience into. This playthrough is geared towards being as update friendly as possible, and this is the last time I will say this. One of the things that I dread as a YouTube viewer is regurgitated content. So when asked why, or told that I'm wrong for playing Satisfactory as efficiently as I can with the schedule that I have, I will reference people here so that I'm not repeating myself to my regular audience that has heard all of this before. I don't knock or disapprove of starting fresh, I get it, but it doesn't mean that I agree or that any of you are wrong or foolish in hoping that you'll be able to salvage a save that you or I can keep building up to where either of us envisions the save file culminating in. That's it, I'm done, and if this doesn't make sense, maybe consider checking out my other videos or contacting me directly on Reddit. Creators too, you are welcome to try and change my mind, 
but it's not a side. It's a preference and a symptom of my available time as a business owner, a family man, and a gamer. Stay fresh, play how you want, how you can, and most importantly, stay you. Oh, and share this video with friends.